Hey everybody, it's Christine, and today I want to talk to you about regret. So if you're out there with any shoulda, coulda, wouldas, and you're beating yourself up because you regret something that you did or didn't do, or something that did or did not happen, I really, really want to help you get out of that place of regret today because it is a really awful, miserable place to hang out. But first, you really need to understand something about regret and why it's so painful and totally unfair. See, with regret, we're taking something that happened in the past and we're looking at it and judging it and evaluating it with the awareness and information we have in the present. See, it's like whatever happened in the past happened, but then you've had time to think about it and analyze it and, and your awareness has maybe grown and you've talked to more people. And so you're looking behind you, you're looking in the, in the past with the information that you have now in the present. And that's totally unfair to do. See, at the time that whatever you regretted happened, you were doing the best you could. I assure you, you were doing the best you could. If you could have done better, you would have. So you've got to stop regretting, your, regretting whatever happened and spending time in regret because you're just beating yourself up and you're using the information from the present to keep you from really being free from the past. So how do you leverage regret? How do you get out of it? Okay, I'm going to give you a three-step process. The first thing is to really ask yourself, and I encourage you to journal about this, what did I learn from this? What are all the learnings? Because regret really wakes us up. It brings our attention to something. So if you're going to focus on something, focus your energy in a positive way by asking, what did I learn? What am I learning from this? The second thing is to ask, what are the action steps I need to take? Okay, so there's what happened, there's the learning, and then what action steps do you need to take? Is there support you need? Do you need some skills? Do you need to set up some boundaries or some prevention measures in some, in some ways to keep you from doing more shoulda, coulda, wouldas? You know, what are the proactive things you need to do? Because regret is a total reactive state to live in. And we're, whenever we're in a reactive state, we're in sort of that hamster wheel of misery. So really motivate yourself to get into that proactive state by asking, what are the action steps I need to take? And finally, please, Forgive yourself. And I'm going to say it to you one more time so it really sinks in. You really did the best you could. Please stop beating yourself up. Forgive yourself. You are human. We all make mistakes. Now it's just learning from them, taking the action steps, and then forgiving yourself. Because when you're constantly beating yourself up, and looking in the past with eyes of regret, you can't see what's right in front of you and better yet, what lies ahead. I hope that's helpful to you and I'll see you next week. Bye!